Okay. Hey everybody, uh, back here for part two of fitting the uh, the BC. This is uh, Camila. Hi. <laughs> Came all the way from Brazil. From Brazil, so kind of far out there. Thanks, thanks for doing that. Uh, so this is the that's a pretty cool uh, BC that that Camila picked out here. So, yeah, the red with the red. That's gonna look very hot, I think. Cool. Yes. Very so, cool. <laughs> yeah. So we're gonna do the rough fit here, um, and I'm gonna let you you join in. Okay. First, let's have a, a quick look. Go ahead and. Put on just like, yep, just like, just like BC. There we go. All right. I prefer the plate to be right about there, a little bit high. I know I've read other things where folks like the plate in a lower position. I like it in a bit of a higher position personally, um, because then we can reach the tank valve a little more easily. So the the rings, if they're too low, then it gets kind of in your arm and oh. you can't move it. Mm -hmm. If it's too high, you can't reach it. Oh, that's so, a problem. Yeah. So this is, <laughs> actually, this is almost perfect. That's amazing. Yes, yes. it's okay. Yeah. okay. I think. All right. Okay, so next, let me have a look at this. Um, we're going to want this to be right over here. Pop this. This was actually very lucky. This never happens. <laughs> this is almost, I am almost, <laughs> almost exactly perfect. What's going on? Seriously, this is very unusual. All right. Now, this is going to be tough because it has kind of a thin waist. So we need, <laughs> we need this to be as close to there as possible. Mm -hmm. What kind of wetsuit do you usually wear? Um, Three mil, five mil? Six and a half. Six and a half? Yeah, it's a uh, semi, 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 semi dry, dry. Okay. yes. All right, that's mm -hmm. kind of big actually. Yes. So let me make this, I'll make this a little tiny bit big. Six and a half, that's, that's quite a big yes, wetsuit. Yes. Just like a robot. Yeah, it would be. <laughs> So this is where you can hook your SPG or okay. or something if you like to. Now, this is a little bit loose, but 6.5 is kind of thick. Yeah, yeah, I think it's something like that. Yeah. Anyway, we're gonna leave plenty of room for you to adjust later if you want. Okay. All right. So let me see. So, so basically, what I'm what I'm trying to do here, all right? I'm trying to get that buckle as close to Camila's side over here. But she says she dives in a 6.5 mil suit, so I know that that's gonna make it wider. So I wanna make this a little bit loose, so maybe it'll come back perfectly like that. And then I'm going to leave some space here. Not too much, let me see. Um, I wanna make it, oh, it's almost perfect actually. This. Yeah, I'll, I'll cut it right here. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to thread it back into her weight pocket. So the weight pocket's going to hold that. It's kind of a nice technique. Let me see. Mm. Yeah. So first I burn this before cutting it so it doesn't uh, fray. All right. All right, there we go. All right, so this is gonna go back in here. It's but tight. it's too cold. Okay. Yeah, even in a 6.5? Yes, wow. even <laughs> with gloves and... The you know what, let me take this off so I don't... Wow. And it's the best place to dive there. Oh, really? Yes. What kind of stuff can you see? A lot of fishes and... Um, the water is the water is very clear. Oh, let's try it again. I like big I stuff. I think sixty meters. Sixty? Yes, the, the wreck. Everybody goes there, even yeah. without a tech tech course. I don't know. Really? Yes. Yikes. Okay, so we've got our waist uh, set where we want. Okay, so this is gonna come in like this, and then. All right, so with your 6.5, so you're going to clamp it over there. Okay. Right? And then this one, I'm going to cut over here. All right. Okay. Got that. Okay. So, so this is just to be a little pointed so it can go through here kind of easily. Mm -hmm. All right. Just through there. 
clip it and then just maybe pop it through there. But probably with the 6.5, it's gonna come out. It probably won't be that wide, right? Okay. okay, last thing I need to adjust is the most difficult, and that's the crotch strap, pardon me. All right, so what we want is, oh my gosh, it's almost perfect. What we want is, <laughs> we want it to be right there. So I, I need, what, three more centimeters, maybe? Maybe not, actually. Yeah, I think it's okay because it's yeah. going to. So the way this goes on is, and this is kind of tricky for folks, right? Mm. So this one first goes through here. Okay. Goes through there, right? And that's going to be the front. Then this one goes here. And click. And then if you want, this can through there and be over here. So let's have a look. Oh my gosh, it's amazing. It's like almost perfect. Look at this! It's almost perfect! <laughs> I can't believe that actually. It's kind of wild. Alright, so this one probably you will you won't use, but this ring is actually for a scooter. Oh really? Because a, a good scooter has a string and it pulls you from here. Mm. And then you have one in the back and oh. that's for holding equipment temporarily like a reel or a spool or something like that okay, that's what yes. it's for and most people over here are going to use that for your spg your air gauge a lot of people use it there some people would use it over here, here instead yeah um well, let me grab this first. let's check it one more time here we go oh, this is beautiful this thing's beautiful <laughs> all right all right, so what you're gonna do, you're gonna grab that, and then you're gonna grab the crotch strap. You're gonna put this through the crotch strap. Mm -hmm. Oops. Yeah, it's a little bit tight okay, because I gave you a really nice, this is a super, super nice buckle, super strong, this oh, one. Oh, yeah. nice. There you go, and then pop it closed, pop it through there. All right, so I believe with 6.5, that looks good. This looks good. Okay, so here, this will hold uh, two kilos. Yeah, this will right. hold two kilos. Yeah, so I think it's okay. I four. think. Okay, okay, all right, let's take this one off. Yes. Next, here's the wing that Camila chose. It's a nice one. It's, it's a small one. It's 23, 23 pounds of lift. That's cool. But one, one thing, and this, this is for these guys, right? So when a wing comes shipped, actually, usually um, this uh, inflator hose is in the wrong position, right? It's supposed to be pointed this way, but this is how it'll come shipped. So you've got to loosen it, pop it around, and then you'll re-tighten it. All right. Okay, she's got that. Now in the back, uh, right, Camille's gonna have no STA, and on this wing it's made to accommodate no STA. It has these uh, rods here actually that will, will hold the tank. That's really nice. And we're gonna put on her, uh, her tank bands. Can you grab those? So basically, your whole thing is gonna be like a sandwich. So, over here, So that's here. Right, that's going to be, I'd recommend the, the one being done like this. I'm going to pop it to there. And then you're going to pop this through this bungee. Bam, and there you are. Okay, let's put it on. Cha -chong. Cha -chong, cha -chong. Cha -chong. Okay, go ahead, put it, yep, yep, go ahead, put it on. Pull it all the way as tight as you can. There you go. Yep. Pop. Bam. There she goes. Check it out. <laughs> Looks great. Awesome. Yeah. Right. So you've got your you got your inflator over here. Yes. Right for your inflate deflate, and you know you're gonna have your. You know, I would encourage your SPG there. Yes. Um, Maybe so. When you get your 6.5 on, I think that's going to fill you out a bit, right? Your wings over here, you got your things. Yeah, that looks awesome. All right. 
And so in the oh, future, I'm so happy. <laughs> yeah, and you and you've got a lot of extra uh, webbing. So if you yes, need to yes, cut some yes, off or yes. adjust it, or you know, like if you ever use a dry suit no, in the I future, never in the future, yeah, like lots of you know, trends. actually, I think probably this this would be okay for a dry suit. But some people, um, you know, if they want to make it looser, I I think probably this would be okay for wetsuit dry suit. But you know, or if you get bigger like I did, uh, I mean, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you make. Okay. All right, I think that's about it. It looks great, doesn't it? Yeah. Okay, thanks for tuning in. I hope that was helpful for you. Uh, get a lot of requests to put information uh, online about how to adjust uh, that, uh, that backplate and wing, and especially the harness. Thank you very much to Camila for uh, first for finding us on the internet and looking us up, and for being a volunteer for, for this video. I, I, w I wasn't a very good host. I didn't get any like final final picture of us kind of, of hanging out with, with uh, BC together. So sorry for that, Camila. Enjoy your travels and uh, thanks a lot for joining in. Okay, thanks for watching. All right, well, if you like this kind of thing and uh, you think you'd like to see more, uh, I think there's a subscribe button right around here somewhere. And if you are coming to Japan and you'd like to hook up with us and dive, I think right around here there's a spot where you can click, come and have a look at the webpage and see what kind of events are going on. All right, thanks a lot. See you on the beach. Bye.